Hey y'all, let's check out Dominate Templum Dolores. Hey y'all, so today we're going to be checking out this land that's very much so given forgotten. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I am shy in Second Life and it's definitely a vibe on this side. On this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So this is like a little... You can sit here on the little throne they have. Well, the big throne that they have right there. So right off top this land is it does definitely have like a spooky vibe to it i really really love this bridge how it really has you like above everything now it is pretty dark here i will say that but they have a lot of um lighted aspects so it's not really that bad you know um when i first came here i was already in sunrise i believe and it was very very pretty in um sunrise but i wanted to see what their shared environment was like and i really do like it i feel like in the past i just have not been given shared environments a chance as soon as i come to the land it's like if i didn't like the way that it looked i'm like i'm gonna change it but even when they have a darker themed shared environment I am noticing that it will still have a lot of lighted aspects to it and I just I wasn't taking advantage of that I, I must say this is really really pretty so it has like a like an ethereal type mystical magical like I said like a forgotten land type feel I love this tree love this tree so the things here are really, really pretty. When I panned out, it didn't look very big. They have like a really big like castle. I don't know if that's something that you can go into or if it's just kind of like a visual. I probably should check and see if I could have before I started recording. Cause what if, what if I can't? What if that's just like a big ass faux house and you can't even go into it? This is so pretty. She's like, shield me from the light. It looks so dainty, even though it is, it does have like a creepy aspect to it. It also has a very like feminine fairy type vibe and I'm digging that. So you guys know I love a land with levels and this place seems to have a few. Um, This little boat you can sit on, super cute, very like romantic if you will, a very Halloween-y. I love all of the beautiful fountains. These flowers look so funky, but pretty at the same time. They look poisonous. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a thousand. They, they, it, it's given poisonous. Don't even touch them. What's this over here? So when I came here, they had like this box that said like hints. And so these look like some hints as well. So I'm assuming this is like an interactive land because it does have like, hints and things like that so it might be like a something that you can try to find i can't even see the door that looks like a door okay let's see what was going on with this this is cute they, they be having some really nice statues and i really really love the statues that they are finding baby if this is it this is gonna be a three oh i was gonna say this is gonna be a three minute video <laughs> This is pretty. What we got going on over here? This is giving decorated house. That's what it's given. But it don't look like a house. But like just coming into it. It seems like it's lots of things to look at. Look at that. So nice. Now the haunted house that I went to. I don't know if I'm going to put. I think that video is going to go out for the 13th baby if y'all ain't seen it go on, go on check it out that one was different oh it's a lot in here okay we gonna we gonna chill boy we got some stuff to look at okay okay i love it y'all that damn ride baby i was not ready for that at all but you know what 
last year for Halloween, they did have quite a bit going on. I, I don't remember really taking advantage. Can we read what that says? Is it like in a different language? This is a charm which, with, which softens objects. Okay, so there's like some spell stuff going on here. I don't think that I really like was going around last year um for halloween i think i might have hit up a couple places but i don't know because i just don't remember um doing a lot of like rides and stuff like that or like finding a lot of halloween spaces maybe i did it wasn't that long ago i mean you know that was last halloween i don't know but they have lots of new places and i really really like that so it's like a whole different experience and i hope i find more rides i really really like the rides i really really like the rides i am not a fan of a jump scare the jump scares i don't like them i don't and i know the reasoning for them but i don't like them i just don't i said baby get somebody else to do it they got a lot of stuff all the way up here. Oh, okay. It looks like a um almost like a like a spiritual art museum where it's like it's art, but the art is really like telling a story, if you will. Look at this. Look at them, they're intertwined in love damn naked skeletons i love the ceiling though hold up let's let's look at the ceiling i love the ceiling it's giving um temple vibes the way that they um have it oh and it has like a little skylight look at this the sky here is beautiful absolutely beautiful it looks like another planet that's what it's giving it's giving like another planet so you see how it's dark in here but there are a lot of things that are lit so it ain't so bad it's just not so bad i do feel like if i was in like sunrise or something like that i wouldn't get i actually can't walk up here i was gonna just pan but no we gonna walk up here um if i was in a different lighting other than the lighting that they have for this um land i don't think that i would have like that same type of experience um, so I'm really, really glad that I gave it a chance and I'm, I'm telling you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it more often. I'm gonna do it more often. Cause I really been, I've been playing myself, not, um, taking advantage of, but sometimes they be too damn dark. Sometimes they, they are too dark and I don't know if all lands, um, create this chair is so pretty. It's all florally and pink and it got lots of colors. Green, one of my, my favorite color. I'm like, one of my favorite, my favorite color. That's, I love all greens, but hunter green is my favorite color. Um, the, the lighting a lot of times, sometimes it's so dark. I'm like, there's no way you picked this lighting. Like you did not pick this lighting. So I don't know if every land picks their own lighting or if they allow um, Second Life to just like do their thing. So like if it's nighttime in Second Life, then they're just like, well, it's going to be nighttime here. I'm not sure how they do that. Was there something up there? Oh, yeah. I don't know. But this land, they pick their lighting. They pick their lighting for sure. Is that like, that's like a dinosaur head. Okay. I love these geodes so pretty is that what they're called when they're i know the smaller ones are but i guess if they're bigger they, they're still they just like big geodes look at this everything is so crazy it's the misshapen skull for me i wonder do these people like some of the times do they like mesh some of these items or are these items like really just from different creators i don't know Look how pretty all of this is just lit in the background super nice i love this the little creepy dead hand i love it look at the decorated candles 
Oh, look y'all for a little minute. I, I said, baby, listen, if this door don't open, if I can't walk, I, it looked like a door from the top. I'm glad I walked up on it. I said, baby, listen, this is going to be like a back in the day video. This video going to be two damn minutes long. Oh, not a, a little alien. It's like an octopus elf baby. I don't know. So there's lots of stuff going on on this table. I do want to look at it because it's cute. It is cute. I remember um, some kid I was around, they couldn't say because, so they would say to cuz. I kind of feel like that was my brother when he was a little baby. He was like, to cuz. And so a lot of times instead of saying because, I will say like to cuz. Not to, well, which y'all, you know, I wouldn't. Say it just like to any old body. I remember one time I was watching this show with um my friend, my bestie, and it was about like it was like a jail show, and the man had he had, he was like schizophrenic or something, and so yeah he was schizophrenic. And so he was attacking his neighbor saying that um, he felt like his neighbor was like part of the Taliban and his neighbor was like out to get him. The neighbor had to keep, uh, keep calling the cops on him and stuff like that. And so they arrested him. Oh, this is a mermaid skeleton. I look, I will have this in my house and I would just have it in my house. This is beautiful. And so the man kept calling the cops on him because he's like, he keeps attacking me. I'm not in the Taliban. I've never even been in the military. I'm not in any part of any of this, but he, he's schizophrenic and he thinks that I'm a part of the military. So they took the man to jail and they kept him in jail for like a month or something like that. Like they put him on medication and all of this stuff because this was like the third time that he had attacked his neighbor. Like I'm talking like attacked him with like a knife or something, chasing him down the street and shit. And so his month was up. And so they came back and interviewed him. And they were interviewing him. And he was like, you know, I feel rehabilitated. Um, I'm really ready to be out and things like that. Now, me and my friend watching this, we are sky high. When I say high, 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 as Cat Williams would say. Very, very high. So the man's like, um, you know, I feel rehabilitated and I know that I'll be able to go out and just be um, a part of society in a positive way. And they were like, okay, wow. So the medication really worked. He was like, yeah, you know, I've been taking my medication and I do feel a lot better. Like I'm not going to be out here like kabujarin or anything like that. And me and my friend looked at each other and we like kabujarin. We like this motherfucker not better. He been in there taking medicine and he's still not better. And y'all, why they let this man out? Let him out. Now they done had footage of this man talking crazy to these report to these uh, people who was doing a the documentary. They still let this man out. A week later, he back in jail for attacking his neighbor again, saying that he think he a part of the Taliban. I said, y'all dead wrong for letting that man up out of there. And y'all knew he was not rehabilitated at all. He still very much so had issues. And then I felt bad for the neighbor because it's like, that's your house. So it's like, you can't just like leave your house. Like you, you could break a lease if it get that deep. You know, you can, you can break a lease and be like, fuck it. I can't live here. Like this man, he going to end up taking my life. I'm not going to do it. I'd rather leave, get another apartment. Oh, I love this than to um, stay here. And he's constantly attacking me. Now, this was this this was this man's home like this where he lived. And I felt so bad for him because I'm like, they're not they're not doing what the fuck they need to be doing with this man. He is still not better. Like he is still very much so not better. So now every time we have a conversation and she really <laughs> She really like my sister, to be totally honest. Like, I have another bestie that's that's like a sister as well. You know, when when I when I got besties, I'm like, yeah, we 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 sisters. That's what it is. But when I tell you guys, when we um have conversations and stuff like like that, like that's like our little inside uh, secret or inside little joke. 
and we'd be like they over here kabooderin because that's like our way of saying like they over here like really tripping like super stupid and i thought that was like so messed up i when i tell you this was this it was so long ago but i remember it so vividly they did really good on this what's the what's the difference between an uh, alligator and a crocodile is this an alligator or a crocodile I don't know. I know it's got something to do with their scales. I can't really see it. It's big as hell. It's giving crocodile, but I don't know. That video was so long ago. Oh, they there. They did with their little boo, and he there with his boo, she there with him, whatever. The video was so long ago, and I remember it so vividly because it was very disturbing to me that they let this man out, and then that he went right back for doing the same thing. I hope he eventually got the help he needed, or that man really just kind of like did what he needed to do to get that man together because, honey, that's one of them things where it's like, you're going to go before I do. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. I'll see y'all tomorrow.